All right, tech enthusiasts, hey, how y'all doing? Um, so welcome back to my channel. Um, we're here to kind of explore the most exciting trends in emerging technology. That's what we do on this channel. Um, you know, be sure to like and subscribe. If there's any questions that you have, please let me know. Um, but today we're diving deep into a hot topic, right? And that's on generative AI and just AI in general. What is this impact on society? You know, um, you know, how is it how is it going to impact us in the future? What are some of the pros and cons that we need to be concerned about? And just, you know, just kind of thinking through what's going on in that space right now. And why should we be, be concerned as levitators or innovators? Right. So. Um, so anyway, let's get started. So. Um, so right now, AI is kind of, you know, seamlessly infiltrated our daily lives. You know, we're seeing it everywhere. Um, there's a lot of virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa, and, and a lot of personalized recommendations that are really going on on all these different platforms. And, you know, um, when we look at that, we have to figure out, you know, what's really in store for us, right? Is, is AI going to be something that we need to be concerned about? A lot of, you know, posts around, oh, am I going to lose my job thanks to AI? And, you know, is AI going to, you know, pick up my kids for me for school? No, I don't, I don't think we're, we're, we're there yet as far as what we can be concerned about. But it is starting to infiltrate our daily lives. You're really starting to see more people leverage it to actually learn more about what's going on um, in the world, um, to create content, to to um, provide um, uh, just faster ways of doing things. Um, so you've seen a lot of that. I mean, especially like, wow, you can create content now. You know, you, you check out the AI, you ask it, hey, what should I create my video content about? And then, hey, can you give me some images that I can create that'll make my content stand out? And hey, can you modify these videos for me? There's a lot of stuff that you can do now with AI that's getting, um, and, and it's just getting better and better, you know, and so far. Um, especially this year, and it really started late last year when ChatGPT became mainstream. So, so there's a lot there to think about. Um, a, a lot of areas where we should be concerned with AI, only because we don't know where it's going. There's a lot of, you know, um, efficiency and automation passes I mentioned. There's a lot of medical breakthroughs. There's a bunch of things that are really happening right now from an AI perspective. So, so we have to really just think about how can we leverage AI effectively, and then how can we, or what concerns should we have, right? Um, so um, just a few things just to mention, you know, so right now, as you look at like, you know, um, data analysis, you look at scientific research, you look at all these different things that AI can impact. Right. Um, you know, those sound great. Right. But really, that's not what the average person is going to be using AI for. And so what is the impact to the average person? I think it's a key thing that um, not many people have really talked about. I mean, we've talked about, you know, the job scenario, of course, that's always the fear, right? and it's fear mongering. That's, I see everybody's scared that AI is going to take their job and they have something to be concerned about. You know, I, I don't think we should go down that path. We should think about, you know, what can you use AI for, right? Um, and, you know, if you look at this video above here, is some of the tools that I've mentioned about AI, but really um, what it comes down to is just think through your life. What things can I do easier? Is it, you know, doing homework with the kids, right? So AI, I can leverage that. Um, you know, as parents, I don't know if parents are like super college graduated, you know, people. We need to be able to leverage some of the tools to help us remember calculus and help us remember some of the things that we need to, to do to assist our kids. So are there ways that we can leverage AI for that, right? Are there tools that our kids and or that we should be learning that's going to help us in the future as we explore some of um, what we're going to do with um with AI and, and, and just to get better um, um, as, as human beings as we look at different ways to explore that space. So, so um, you know, I, I like, uh, you know, you hear chat GPT, you hear mid journey from photos, um, you hear um, some of the different other options, you know, for videos. Um, so I, I, on our channel, we have a few of those um, scenarios where we talk about music generation, we talk about video creation, we talk about content creation. So there's a few videos there that you can check out on our site that's going to help you with that. So thank you through those things. Thank you through some of the tools we can leverage and see if there's ways that you can um, use that AI, uh, those, that AI toolkit to make your life easier is one of the things that you should definitely be looking at um, if you, as, you're, as you're waiting to see what happens in the space, right? The other thing is that, hey, um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be using AI to master the expertise in your field, whatever field that is, right? 
So if you're trying to become, um, if you're a newspaper editor or reporter, you should be definitely leveraging AI to find out some of the ways that you can actually um, learn more about uh, what's happening in the, in your in your industry, and what's happening in your field, and what's happening in the world. You should definitely leverage AI for that. If you try to invest in real estate, I mean, it's no matter what you're trying to do, you got to think about well, what toolkits can I utilize for AI, and how do I find those? Now we presented some in this channel, but I think that you should be looking through Google and looking through some of the top AI areas and figuring out how do I leverage that. The, the other thing that I want to mention is that. Uh, you know, you have to decide what stuff you need to pay for and what stuff um, you can leverage for free. I think at times you get focused on just trying to uh, find the most inexpensive way of doing things, but sometimes paying eight dollars a month to get you a more advanced version that'll help you get through things faster. So let's look at that and then try to figure out uh, how we can leverage AI and what things that we need to be concerned about. And then finally, just thinking through some of the ethics of AI as well, there's a lot of concerns around that. That may be not be something that you want to worry about right now, but it's definitely something that you want to keep your eye on as you see some of the biases and the, and the, and the uh, ethical concerns that come about with AI. So when you're impacted by AI, when your school, when your, your, your medical facility, when your church tries to leverage some of these tools, you want to make sure you, that you're aware of some of the ethical implications of these tools and ways that that can be concerning for you. So, so anyway, quick video, just want to throw that out there. You know, we're going to be continuing to post some stuff around AI on this channel. Uh, but, you know, let me know in the comments, what are some things that you're concerned about? What are some things that we should look at within this channel that'll make um, you understand more about what's happening in this space and how you can leverage those tools? And then again, thinking through yourself as an innovator, a levitator is what I like to call us, right? Um, you know, just let me know how I can help you or how this channel can help you become better at innovating and, and, and being a better version of yourself. So anyway, thanks everyone. Appreciate it. And be sure to like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.